Hey guys, it's Peter here. Today I'll be going over the 5th most popular kata or code challenge on Code Wars. This problem is called sum of digits or digital root. And the instructions are, digital root is the recursive sum of all the digits in a number. Given n, take the sum of digits of n. If that value has more than one digit, continue reducing in this way until a single digit number is produced. The input will be a non-negative integer. Okay, so basically we want to set n to the sum of all of its digits over and over again until n is a non-negative single digit number, which simply means a number from 0 to 9. So again, like all code challenges, there are multiple ways to solve this problem. Let's start with the most Pythonic solution because it's the easiest to understand and implement in my opinion. First, we need a while loop in order to evaluate the sum repeatedly. We'll do this while n is greater than 9 because if anything is less than 9, we can return it. As for the sum, we can use Python's built-in sum function and generator expression. In order to get the sum of the digits, we will need to iterate over each digit. Since integers cannot be directly iterated, we need to convert n to a string and convert each string digit back to an integer when feeding it to the sum function. We then set this result to n. Okay, perfect. Now let me quickly go over the recursive version of the solution. The base case will be return n if n is less than or equal to 9. And the recursive step is the same as before. Set n to the sum of its digits and then recursively call upon itself. Alright, I also want to show you the expanded version of the solution, just in case you're a little confused about generator expressions. So keeping the while loop the same as before, we just need to expand the generator expression to a regular for loop. This part here is the same as what we were doing before with the sum function and generator expression. Okay, let's move on to a solution that doesn't need to rely on creating a string. Again, the while loop condition is the same as before. We're just changing how we sum up the digits. So in order to simulate iterating over an integer, we need to use a while loop. To get the last digit of an integer, we can take the modulus 10 of that integer. So for example, 26 mod 10 is equal to 6 because we get a remainder of 6 when we divide by 10. To get the next digit, we need to update the number. We can do this by integer dividing the number by 10. This truncates the number by one digit. So for example, 26 divided by 10 is 2.6, but by using integer divide, the 0.6 is truncated and we get 2. Now we can of course add the digit to our total. And after we have gone through every digit, we update n to be the sum of its digits like before. Alright, nice. Just a small tip, you can shorten this code a little bit by using Python's built-in divmod function, which does exactly the same thing as our two lines here. Okay, the last and final solution is the combination of mathematics and clever use of Boolean operators. I won't go into too much detail in this video, but you can follow this wonderful explanation by the original Triple D here on Code Wars for more insight. The general idea is that n mod 9 will give the correct answer for all numbers except for 9 because 9 mod 9 is 0. However, 0 mod 9 is also 0. So the last part here covers both these cases. Basically, if n mod 9 is 0, return 0 if n is 0. Otherwise, return 9 if n equals 9. This is because Boolean operators short-circuit in Python. 
because zero is considered falsy, this and expression will instantly return the falsy zero value. All right, and that's it. If you want more detailed explanations of any of these solutions, or you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. And of course, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Code Wars challenges. Thanks.